how Melania Trump has used sleeves to set herself apart from her first lady predecessor, Michelle Obama. Melania Trump's husband may be a vocal proponent of the Second Amendment, but the first lady doesn't seem to care much about bearing arms. Her arms, that is, since Donald Trump took office, in fact, since the 2016 campaign, the 48-year-old's fashion choices have featured one particularly striking difference from those of her predecessor. Unlike Michelle Obama, who frequently chose sleeveless dresses and tops that flaunted her famously toned arms, Melania appears to be partial to outfits with sleeves that, that keep her arms and shoulders under wraps. Much has been said of 48-year-old Melania's style choices, both complimentary and not so much. Her Jackie O-inspired look made headlines, as did the Top Gun theme look, complete with widely mocked flood heels, she wore to visit Texas in the wake of Hurricane Harvey. Michelle's style hicks were written about and dissected as well while her husband was in office. Yet aside from a clear flair for fashion from both ladies, the two seem to have little style overlap, and one especially notable thing that sets them apart is their sleeve preferences. Michelle, 53, caused quite a stir during Obama's first term with her sleeveless dresses. In 2009, while her husband gave a speech to Congress, she sat in the audience in purple sleeveless dress. Oh my God! The First Lady has bare arms in Congress, in February, at night. Cindy Lay, then the editor of Glamour magazine, told the New York Times at the time. When she was at the non-State of the Union address and had a sleeveless dress on, that was a bit of a surprise and I got some emails from some folks who were, you know, they were on the hill and they were like, wow she's sleeveless. Nobody else is sleeveless here and it is the winter, Politico White House reporter Malika Henderson told ABC News. Her kind of philosophy of fashion is that women should wear what they are comfortable in, Henderson added. And so there she is with her arms out. Shortly after, Chicago Tribune-style reporter Wendy Donahue predicted that Michelle would make their arms her signature statement, and, of course, she turned out to be right. In many ways it's the perfect accessory for the times. They cost nothing except maybe a gym membership or a couple of 15-pound weights that you can use in your home, she said. Those toned arms that are the envy of every woman, not just 45-year-old women, but 25-year-old women don't have arms that toned. Earlier this year, fashion designer Maria Pinto even spoke to the impact that Michelle's choices had. The sleeveless sheets that I encouraged her to wear, it brought sleeveless into a space that was considered more acceptable. News anchors weren't allowed to wear sleeveless on TV before Michelle, she told Elle. But while many had praised for the look, some critics called her penchant for showing her arms off inappropriate for her position, and that didn't end even when she left the White House in 2017. In February, Ruth and Daly, a columnist for The Federalist, shared her hope that Melania would usher in a return to sleeves. Not every woman has Michelle Obama's arms. Some body parts just look better covered up, she wrote. Melania Trump has no jiggles to hide. But I'm heartened by the white oxenic Olympic dress with bracelet-length sleeves she wore for her convention speech, she went on, before referencing her election night Ralph Lauren jumpsuit and pre-inauguration dinner dream at Gown, both of which also had sleeves. The new first lady has kept it up through her first year in the job, and people have certainly noticed a change. If there has been a single defining characteristic of Melania Trump's public profile over the past year, it has been her relationship with sleeves mused the Washington Post's fashion editor Robin Gideon. Gideon admitted that Melania's preference for sleeves is all the more noticeable due to comparisons to Michelle, but Melania still makes them eye-catching in their own right. Trump's sleeves are the mark of a fashion aesthete who is willing to cast aside practicality in favor of line, silhouette and proportion, she wrote. Her sleeves tell a story of an exceptional life, one that is now lived inside the White House security bubble. Her sleeves have come in many forms. There have been straight, snug sleeves that reach to her elbows or wrists. There have been a rolled up sleeves of button-down blouses and chambray shirts. There have been wide flutter sleeves, like the ones that accented the D or dress at the unveiling of the White House Christmas decorations. To welcome China's President Xi Jinping and his wife to March a Lago this year, she wore a Gucci gown with three-quarter length sleeves, accented at the ends with pink fur. She'd been a fan of belt sleeves, too, like the ones on that white box and Ilham sick she wore to the RNC and the hot pink Del Pozole dress she donned in September. 
She's even made a statement of not sticking her arms in sleeves, draping coats and cardigans over her shoulders instead of wearing them in the traditional way. It's a fashion tick, the styling flourish that allows for layering while ensuring that each layer is visible, Give Andy explained. It's also an impractical style and essentially renders one's arms useless. But, of course, that assumes that one will need to do anything remotely physical. No first lady has to 